Most people in America are familiar with a company's business and what a company's business is and is not. An employee that doesn't register what is and isn't a company's business can end up costing you a lot. What we can talk about in simple example is the restaurateur who has a sandwich shop and their manager abuses the company's business. In other words, there's a program that's running through the company business on behalf of an individual or a not-for-profit organization. Well, what the company employees choose to do is say, we're not going to do this for you, but then they continue to run the program on behalf of the employee and their friends. This is an abuse of the company's business. Another example is an office supply shop that has a printing house within it. In other words, local office community people, business professionals, are sending their intellectual property and their proprietary information to the office supply company via email, usually or intranet, and they are providing them this electronic data. And the electronic data is, of course, something that someone created for the benefit of their company. But an internal employee is taking that information and either selling it to the competition or they're selling it for their own financial benefit by selling it off to their friends and family because they want their friends and family to use it for their benefit. And again, this is what we have a bad employee station about, but it can cost a company millions of dollars.